Now this uh, 09 Fiesta Mark 7 1.6 um, the air conditioning's not working and when it's been idling for a while or you stop on the motorway you get an oily smell um, people describe actually there's no oil leaks as such but um, as soon as I saw it I realised um, the engine was just getting too hot but clearly um, or curiously should I say there's no indication of any problem when you're inside the car there's no overheating warning or anything else the air condition is not working and it just seems hot of course now it's um, July 2018 during a very hot spell and yeah the fans not working the uh, cooling fan on the radiator electric fan it's a 360 watt fan on this I think is not working so without the cooling fan the things are overheating it's really curious that the coolant level looks quite good it's on minimum so it's obviously got a bit too hot but it hasn't boiled over which is amazing so anyway a quick test before I go any further is that um, this relay down here this one is the fan relay and on this model you should check the inside of your fuse housing you can see there's the fan and the fan fuse is this one a 15 amp fan um, an easy way to do it is, turn, is to remove this relay these relays get stuck on sometimes but this one's okay it's not on but when you remove this relay there are two big contacts on the relay and if you just get a, a stout piece of wire a thin piece of wire is no good because it'll probably go up and smoke in your fingers but a decent piece of um, wire you know that can take 10 or 20 amps if you just connect across the two large phage connections then the fan should start running and if it doesn't you've got a problem so let's get it up on the ramp and have a look but it's a very curious fault so what we've got here is a 12 volt battery with some jump leads be careful there's no fuse one jump lead goes up this way hooked under there onto a test lead it's a crocodile clip that goes on to the left hand connection of the fan which sorry this is a bit jerky but trying to hold at the same time so the other connection is a crop clip um, jump lead um, just holding a screwdriver and I'm just going to touch it on this contact to see if it goes right at this point obviously if you check your connections are good that fan should be spinning but there is no spin so this fan is no good and he didn't really notice it except the car smells of oil it gets hot and smells oily but there's no warning light inside the car and the air conditioning's not working but the customer has been running around in this thing and um yeah with no fan and didn't really know what was going on but it was overheating so there you go the fan is gone there we are um the fan assembly the baffle plate and, and fan holder the fan blade and the offending fan motor down there. Now, you can see, made proudly by somebody in Poland, cars on 100,000 miles. And of course, you can't just buy this knacker bit. This bit comes out easy. It's just held in by three screws on there and a, and a left hand threaded nut that holds the fan on. Oh no, you can't just buy the motor. You have to buy the whole fucking lot for a hundred quid. Typical. So. This motor is kind of sealed but openable because these tangs here are just holding this plate in. And what I'm going to do, I think it's a brush motor, I'm going to stick it in the vise, hammer back those tangs and take it apart and if necessary, if I can, just put a three quid set of brushes in because that's probably all it needs. But I'll, uh, I'll report later. Right, here's the Fiesta 2009 Mark 7 cooling fan motor and I've taken the lid off. It was a case of just hammering these back. And uh, yeah, we've got a bearing in the front, standard bull race bearing, which is a little bit rough, but still okay. And then on the back, one of those all light bushes, which is basically a phosphor bronze bush impregnated with lubricant. Good for the service of the life of the vehicle. Um, and you've got a couple of chokes here, which are for a RF suppression. There won't be significant impedance at motor running speeds. It's purely to stop noise. And then these things here, these stubbies, little stubbies, are actually the remains of the brushes. That's the most complete one. You can see that it's a slotted brush um, that runs in this slot guide with these and then a spring, a tension spring here to hold in position. You can see if I just zoom in on this, hold on a moment, and there's a zoom in of the uh, commutator and you can see the brushes are completely disintegrated and this um, 
the bro it's actually been running on the wires. The spring wires have been acting as um, as the brushes, and it, oh, clearly it's been running for a while because it carried on going until now it's completely open circuit. Um, I was thinking of putting new brushes in. You can easily get this shape of brushes, but you would have to put a slot down the side, and you would have to remove this plate with a commutator. And I'm not sure because these seem to appear to be spot welded into position. But uh, you can see it's a right old state. So um, normally I would fit brushes, but in this case I'm not going to because it's just too too much hassle. Now the whole thing comes with the plastic surround, the fan and everything else. I, God knows why you can't buy just the motor because it's the only part that's gone. But usual throwaway plastic society, someone's deemed, oh well you might as well supply the plastic parts as well, which is crazy. Um, from an environmental point of view, it's pointless. And the fact that these brushes aren't replaceable is again pointless because if they were better made or easy, more easily replaceable it would mean a whole lot of stuff not going into landfill so again the manufacturer is going for expedient money making with limited lifespan we've seen it so many times um, the other thing um, is that when I went to buy this in the UK the whole assembly with the fan the surround the motor is 90 about 100 quid but um, if you this is the Valio one, which is the one that's in the Ford fit in the factory in 2009, because this car's only done 96,000 miles, and it's an 09 car, so you know it lasts less than 10 years the fan motor, which is strange because other vehicles have had like 20 years old with fan motors are still fine, so it is an odd thing that it's worn out. Um, hasn't been stuck on or anything like that. Relays and everything are fine, but um, yeah, on the German website, an alternative manufacturer. Um, is 53 quid including that so I ordered one in euros from Germany and converted it was 53 pounds instead of your hundred odd pounds that they charge in the UK so there you go anyway so I'm gonna put it back together I just thought you'd be interested to see just what how much of this is all going to be thrown away, all the copper windings, all the energy that's gone into this to make it is going to be thrown away for the sake of a couple of quid's worth of brushes which probably weren't long enough and if there had been any good you'd have the power tool brushes which would be the sintered copper type brushes rather than the standard carbons this is low, very low quality so typical built-in um, life propensity is pretty low they wanted to buy a new one another hundred quid after ten years so, so the fan motor is costing you ten quid a year just for the brush wear you know had I known this now you could have whipped it out and changed the brushes before you get to this stage but who knows who bothers these days so I thought you might find that interesting here's a new one this one's made by Valio as we said never heard of them Italian presumably and then this one is from imported from Germany it looks pretty much incredibly similar even the sort of like finer moulding details are the same so I'd be surprised with the plastic moulding actually this part is any different from the other um, but you can see the motor is a different kind of motor it's uh, a die cast housing I don't know it's more reliable or less reliable and the fan and everything else looks basically the same as a little balancing clip they put on there to balance the fan out which the other one doesn't have or didn't need I'm not sure which but anyway so it is 53 quid for just for a set of three quid brushes which have gone so yeah keep an eye on this one and uh, put it back together there it is <laughs>